My father came to the United States first and he saw how the education system was here. He called my mom and she came over here to look at the education system and so she brought us over here. I was four, my sister was seven. To mend our nation's immigration policy, uh, to make it more fair, more efficient, and more just. Specifically for certain young people, sometimes called dreamers. So when DACA first came out, my mother told me about it. We were very skeptical about it, just because what DACA stands for, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. So it sounds great, but deferred action is we're being deferred from being deported. It was scary, like we didn't know what to do. And we couldn't afford a lawyer. So my mom just read through all the papers. She signed everything. She told us what to read and then we applied for it and we got it. So it opened up like a hope for us. So we were very hopeful. So we got DACA, I got my first job, I started working as a host at a Mexican restaurant. My sister went out and got her driver's license, I went out and got my driver's license. Everything was looking up. We started being able to help our mom for the first time, we were able to help her. So I started focusing on working and I still had to help my mom pay rent and we weren't going to be able to afford it. So I had to get another job. And that's when I was offered the job at the clinic that I still work at now. It's a pediatric clinic. And she called me, she told me, hey, I have a receptionist job available. So I went there, they gave me benefits. And I started getting, I started realizing that I wanted to know more. I didn't want to be in the front desk anymore. I wanted to be passing patients. I wanted to be with the patients because I was curious as to what they were doing. So I started doing research about nursing, talking to my mom about nursing and everything like that. And that's when I decided to start putting myself through school. I applied it for it for the Opportunity Scholarship. When I applied, saw my acceptance email saying, congratulations, we're able to uh, um, give you the scholarship for Opportunity Scholarship. Please log in and accept your, uh, your scholarship. It was a great feeling, a great feeling. <laughs> She's my study partner. We always study together for our, our various classes that we have together. In addition to that, she's also a motivating factor. Just hearing her story, her background, her perseverance, and everything she does is very motivating. She's always confident and enthusiastic and very eager to learn more and be the best version of herself. So I can't help but want to be the best version of myself as well. Fernanda has really become my best friend. We help each other with school, with life sometimes, tough situations, we're always there for each other. And I think Fernanda has really wrapped around uh, that concept of having a vision and, 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 and what she wants for her future. And she's a go-getter, man. Personally, my hopes for the future is uh, to become a neonatal nurse practitioner so I can take care of premature babies who can't fight for themselves yet. Program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. The DACA program was implemented in 2012 and essentially... And I really hope not only for Fernanda, but also for all the dreamers in the United States, that I hope something is, is consolidated and they're able not only to continue to enjoy the benefits that they have now, but also to be able to become citizens of the United States and continue to contribute. We're just here trying to be better people and we're here to help our home, which is America. We just share our dreams and aspirations of going to school, receiving a higher education, and we talk about our scholarship that we have with the Dream.us and how it was such a miracle really for us to have this opportunity to go to college and receive a bachelor's in whatever we're trying to do. But we're all very excited to be able to study and make something, uh, not only just like be something in this country, but make businesses. We, a lot of my friends are business majors, they're entrepreneurs, that's what they strive to be. They strive to create jobs, they strive to do something better. And we all strive to do this in the United States. None of us have any dreams of going back to live in our home countries because that's not our home. We didn't choose to come here, but we're thankful that our parents brought us here and we wouldn't change it for the world because America gives us opportunities, opportunities that our country wouldn't be able to give us.